Hey guys, welcome to Mama T's Craft Closets. I am Mama T. <laughs> um, I just wanted to thank you again for joining me for the newest video. Today we are going to be taking, or I guess tonight if you look outside, we're going to be taking that resin cabochon, cabochon that I made in the last video and we are going to turn it into a tree of life pendant. Um, so I was going for trying to mimic that other tree of life pendant that I did and we'll see we'll see how things go so let's do it so here is the cabochon that we created um i had to attach a little piece of um metal on the back to be able to hold it to paint the resin on because i sanded it all down to get the clear coat um to get it nice and smooth and then did that so what we're going to be using for materials today is going to be this wire this is actually a square um shaped wire this is what we're going to use to make the bezel or not the bezel but the um it's going to be used what we use to create the bale the bale is the actual part that your necklace is attached to the chain with so this is an example so this is something i or just recently of a team so this right here is the bale so what i'm going to be doing is creating a frame first of all on the back of this for the tree of life limbs and roots to connect to and then a this actual part right here is called the bale creating that so that there is a place for the chain to go through the other materials we'll be using is oh and this is a Gosh, I want to say it's probably an 18 gauge square wire. This is just regular round wire. It is a non tarnished copper soft flex again, um, 26 gauge. So that is a thinner gauge. So this will be used for the, the limbs and the roots of the tree. Some uh, tools too are going to be wire cutters, some needle nose essentially pliers this we're going to use these nylon jaw pliers again to straighten out especially this here it's a little bendy so we're going to use that to straighten it out and then may need to use these these are like forming pliers to get the shape to get that nice shape going around here i may be able to just use my hands but i may use this as well to help me kind of get it in a nice um, uniform shape you could use or if this was a round cabochon I could use like a pill bottle or something that was the same shape to get the form. Um, but this, honestly, I'm just going to have to kind of guess at it. So I'm going to use these to flatten this out. There, take some of the bend out of there. The reason why I'm using a square shape of wire is it just makes a nicer bezel. I just like how it looks. Okay, so that's nice. And then we do want to leave some space at the top to be able to make the bail. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to need to actually flip this over. Essentially, what we would do. I'm actually going to grab my other ones. Uh, these here. So this is just a regular round nose wire. So I'm going to use this to try to just get, get the general shape. So now what I need to do is right about there, this is where we're going to take these, we're going to bend one, I have to, well, you know what, actually, I might do to help my cause. 
Oh yeah, that looks, that looks really good. Okay. Essentially right there. I'm going to grab a Sharpie and I'm going to mark because again, like I said, this, these two top pieces are going to become the actual bail. Okay. This is where you just got to say mm, and go. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to say, mm, you know, the word I'm thinking of. Okay. Like that. And then this one is going to come right here. So I'm going to fix this one. So this side, I need to flatten it out. And that's where these pliers come really handy, you guys. And then come back a little down further and bend it up straight. How's that looking? We're going to come back to this anyways. Yeah, that looks, that looks like it will be good. Okay. All right, guys, that took a little bit, but I finally got the shape. So there we are. And that's, oh God, that's, that's going to be beautiful. Okay. So that's what it takes though. It takes what it takes. So we're going to set that aside. And this is where we need to decide how many branches we want. So this cabochon is a bit smaller, not a bit smaller, it's quite a bit smaller actually, than the other one that I did. Although, I don't know, I don't have it here. So I, I honestly, so we need to have enough. We're going to be cutting probably, I think I wanna do seven branches. So that means we need 14 wires because we'll twist two together uh, to start. So seven wires cut the same length. But first we need to decide, okay, they're going to be twisted together. So I'm thinking this is, that should be plenty. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut, um, I'm going to do 14 of these. So let's speed through that as well. All right, guys. So here we have our 14 pieces. So these are what are going to become the limbs and the roots and the trunk actually as well. The nice part about this part is these don't have to be smooth or straight because they're branches and roots. So it's going to be, you know, trees is, trees are trees. Is. <laughs> trees are gnarly and, you know, messy and, you know, beautiful. I love trees. Uh, so we're just going to take and twist these up to make our trunk. So that's, that's it. <laughs> There's your trunk. Um, and then this is where the other part comes in. So these are going to be our roots. So you do want to leave, you don't need as much uh, space on the roots as you do on the limbs because the limbs have to go up the, um, up the, yeah, dur up to the top. So this one is going to be, because this one is going to be a bit smaller, I need to keep that in mind when I'm positioning it. Um, you know, and getting the roots there. So, all right, guys. So what we need to do next is we actually need to cut my bench block here. And because this is dead soft wire, um, we need to harden it. So we're going to hammer it and harden it a little bit. So what that does is actually hardens the wire. So now when it won't lose its shape as easy, um, it won't come apart and be as bendy as it would. So now we're going to make the bail. So to make the bail, we're going to be using this half round wire. So some of these wires are so cool. So this was a square shaped wire. This is a half round. So because, so it's flat on this side, it's flat here. And then this part is rounded. So we're going to use this to make a nice little decorative um, bail for it. So first I need to make sure that these are pretty much together and 
flat to each other. One of the things that I love the most about creating is that it's an art and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I, being a woman in recovery and having a lot of the um, character defects that I do, <laughs> um, perfection is something that I struggle with a lot. So for me to be able to do something that doesn't require me to be perfect, even though sometimes I forget that, um, it is definitely something I'm grateful for. Okay, so I've cut off a piece of the half round wire. Kind of just have to kind of guess. Uh, this we do want to make sure that we have any kinks or anything taken out of it. Just get the nice. You can see it would help if I was on camera. <laughs> right? There we go. I'm just going to go like that. All right. And then we're going to leave a little bit of a tail on the end so that way we can actually wrap. Um, finish off our bale. So we're going to leave a little bit and you want to make sure that the flat side is down and the round side is up and then we're just going to wrap this. So now we're going to take these are forming pliers, bell pliers. We're going to use the smallest one here and we're going to go about halfway in that area there. And then we're literally going to just that and then wrap this around just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pinch that down. Okay, so there's that part there. Now I should have snipped this other one off, which is the which is the bottom part. We're just gonna be careful of flying wire. <laughs> we're just gonna get in there with those and just push that down. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to take this little tail that I talking about before and we're going to wrap that around the whole piece all right so I am going to cut these when you are cutting wire that's thicker like this you do want to make sure that you are covering <laughs> when you snip that you are covering because if not those pieces are going to go bing, and they could fly into an eyeball or something um, I usually am wearing my glasses so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> but you know safety glasses are not a bad idea when you're cutting wire um, especially when it's thicker when it's thinner it doesn't really go anywhere um, when it is thicker though it does tend to ricochet and kind of fling off wherever. All right, so now what we're going to do is I've got some blue tape and I'm going to be attaching my cabochon or the, the frame to the back of this with some tape. Okay, so we have this here. This is nicely centered on there, and then we're going to center the tape as well. Like that. And make sure that we do have that all on. There we go. Remember, we don't want that showing around the front. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it's not showing around the front, and then we're just going to tape that around the back. So this is just going to help us in beginning to attach the tree itself, um, because without that, it, this the frame and the bale would be going all over the place. And okay, so we're going to set this aside for now because we need to do a little bit more with our tree here. So 
this part we've already established is the roots. Um, and then this is going to be the branches. So because this cabochon, like I said, is a little bit shorter, I'm going to bring actually the twisted trunk part about down to here. Do you figure that's going to be the roots? Oh yeah, that that's good, I think. Okay, so what we're going to do is we got to start forming the branches or the limbs, the branches, whatever you want to call them. Um, so typically how I do that is, I mean, gosh, you guys, this is really just where it kind of is free form. This is not a tree of life pendant is so not precise at all, which is maybe why it's one of my favorite things to create. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to take these three wires right here. One, two, and three. And I'm going to twist them together to actually make a limb. Okay, so this is where the um, the crazy parts come in. Not really crazy parts, but this is where the uh, kind of tricky part goes until it gets going. So we're going to take the other half of that tape that I had, and we're actually going to put it right on the trunk of the tree right here to help us kind of hold on to all of it. <laughs> it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky, but it, it gets better. It gets a little less tricky as it goes. So no worries. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do actually is attach the roots. Now I'm looking at the roots here and kind of like, hmm, I don't know. This part here, I may give it one. Hmm, yeah, one more twist here. Okay, there we go. There. And that's the thing, you just keep working it, you know, just let it come together organically. But kind of like with the limbs, you're going to work the roots as well. So, you know, like think about the roots of a tree, you know, especially when you can see them, you know, sometimes, sometimes the roots of a tree, you know, is you can't really see them because they're covered by the grass, but then you get those old trees that have like the really cool gnarly roots that you can see that are above the ground. And that's kind of what this tree is. So I'll make sure it's in the center there. So I'm going to twist up probably kind of want to figure out how many roots you're going to have. So there are some people that do the roots. They just wrap um, all of the pieces kind of individually. I like to make them, there's a hair on there that'll come off. I like to make them look more like rootish. <laughs> So we're going to flip it over now. I'm going to use our these pliers here. They're like the best pliers I've ever bought. I love these things. And we're just going to take this and put it underneath. There we go. Now these first few ones that you do, you do want to make sure that you're lining them up right because notice how that just shifted a lot. <laughs> So you don't want your tree to be completely off center because that's going to be a real bummer. So you want to make sure that all of those things are lining up well for you. So this. Okay. Make sure we're holding that in the middle there. And then what you're going to do. Again, like I said, see how I pulled that too much it was actually showing through. We want to make sure we move it back. Whoops. Without throwing it across the room. Okay. Just like that. All right. So we're just going to keep feeding these through and wrapping it. Haha, -ha, wire wrapping. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, so I did a couple of wraps off camera because I'm just finding a struggle here. So one thing I will say that I'm noticing about doing this on a resin cabochon 
versus a stone. It's actually a couple things I'm noticing. So the first thing I'm noticing is that I am scratching up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm scratching up the edge of this resin here. Unavoidable. I'm not going to, you know, be like about it. I'm going to clip these while I'm here, though. These ones that I've already wrapped enough. Um, because honestly, there's nothing I can do about it right now. So, um, you know, I, I definitely think I may not be using this technique again of doing the resin cabochon. Also, it seems, and it could just be that I haven't done one in a really long time. It could be that, um. Seems it's a little harder to move. I don't know if it's because the stone material is much more slippery. I don't know. That could be just all in my head, to be quite honest. But as you can see, I've got all of the roots wrapped. So I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting on the roots because they're all kind of, see how they're all kind of bunched here? Just get my glasses. Well, they're all just kind of bunched in this area. So what works really good to kind of move them around, because this one's kind of cool where it has a little knot right there. Um, so I'm just going to move some of them and just kind of put little, literally just doing that it just makes them kind of gives them little bends so oh, now we can take this tape off <laughs> so now we start the branches you know like one of the things I want to do with this channel and that I've said from the very beginning is I'm going to be very honest and transparent um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend that things work out when they don't, um, <laughs> because it's not real, you know what I mean? Like it's not real. So I will say, I don't know if it's the shape of this cabochon, if it is, I don't, I honestly don't know, but I'm not overly happy with how things are going. That doesn't mean I won't love the end result because I'm sure I will. But like literally like I, I feel like I'm going to need to put the tape back on, which is super annoying. But I think if I just get a couple of these branches um, done, that will be okay. So and I am going to put a little bit of a kink in the trunk itself, which I think looks really cool like that. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So now that we've got that down and it's little, it's pretty like uh, kind of pissing me off to be quite honest. I think, is it because that's just not in the center? Okay. I'm going to try to slide the whole thing here because whatever reason, that is not where I want it to be. <laughs> there. Okay. I think that's good. But you know, I may adjust it again. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, what I need to do is get maybe this very top branch in there. So I'm going to crisscross those now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's good. And sometimes what I'll do too is I'll twist like two of these together a little bit and then bring them and then separate them like that. And then you could even. I like how that looks. Okay. And then what I might do. Okay. So it's really just fiddling around with it. Mm. I just don't remember the cabochon being this difficult. Although you guys, that cabochon I did probably three years ago. I have not done a tree of life pendant in a really long time. And I said that in the beginning. So, okay. 
So what I want to do, I'm going to get these two um, tied. I don't like how that looks, though. It looks weird. I think it looks weird coming right off the center. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Okay, yeah, see that? Okay, that looks better. That looks much better. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then I am going to put a little little kinks and stuff in these as well there. Okay, I like the placement of that. All right, so let's flip her over and get these on here before I, like, just throw it out the window. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Not really. Okay. So, same thing again. And these ones I may wrap more than three because they are a little bit longer and it'll just give it some more stability I think I'm going to do this side and then do one on the other side and hopefully that'll stop this cabochon quote-unquote cabochon the resin shon <laughs> from going all over the place when you cut it you want to cut it cut it on the inside so that way you can curl this real close to the thing okay All right, guys, we are on the last branch. Woohoo! <laughs> As you could probably see, even ah, even though it was sped up, you could probably see that, you know, I get a rhythm going, you know, picking up the pliers, putting the wire under, putting them down, putting the wire under, putting the, you know what I mean? So it starts kind of getting a, a rhythm and flow to it. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take as long once you get that, once you get that kind of growing. It, um, doesn't take as long. All right, so I'm going to tighten. I'm going to go along this whole thing here and just make sure all of those wires are tucked in. The trunk, you know, we gave little kind of notches and little frilly parts. And same thing with the, the trunk, well, the roots and then the trunk, we did that. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. And there she is, guys. There. Uh, <laughs> so that is done. Overall, I really like how it came out. It's a really pretty piece. It's one of a kind, and that's what I love. And actually, if you look, the one thing I will say, if you look, I mean, looking at the cabochon now, kind of reevaluating it. First time I had ever done this method, so there are a lot of things that I learned. But I will say, looking at this and the way that I painted this, it looks like a desert scene. Like, you can see the levels of color that are in there from the paint that I used. I mean, that's pretty flipping cool. Like, 
looking at it more closely now and really seeing what the background looks like because now it does it looks like a background it looks like a desert scene um i'm actually really really happy with it all right guys so yeah i'm curious to hear what you guys think about how it came out so you saw it in the last little bit there so there it is i really love it i mean look at can you see maybe better over here look at the detail from the painting on the cabochon itself that i did and if you haven't watched that video go watch it you'll see what i'm talking about <laughs> but it looks like a desert mountain or i just I, it looks like um gosh what it is i'm thinking of like the um not dunes but it looks like it looks like a, a mountain um in arizona like you know where the route 77 is or what the heck is that route route 76 route, route i don't know from from um oh for god's sakes route 66 <laughs> route 66 from i mean it's from forever ago but it's i'm what i'm thinking it's from is from lightning mcqueen from uh cars wow so anyways, so it reminds me of that. It just looks like an old desert scene. I mean, look at how cool that looks. And I really, I'm really, really happy with it. I am. I'm loving it. Now, what I need to decide is what I'm going to use for the chain. Okay, that took a minute. So what I was thinking I could use is either this kind of, it's just leather cording. Um, I don't know how that would look. I mean, you think that looks too weird with the with the copper metal and then the kind of leather cording or i could do more of a like this which is more smooth have that in a couple different colors or do the black i don't know i, I don't know if i like that or not i do have copper chain up there um so i could always just do a regular chain um, but yeah, I mean, either way, this is it. I just want to say thank you again, you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Um, the first wire wrapping video that I did has almost 600 views, which I know that may not be a big deal to some people, but it's a huge deal to me. Um, the fact that 600 people have watched my video is really, really cool. Um, I'm up to 73 subscribers. That is really, really cool. I can, I'm, I'm like blown away. I'm really, really excited for this adventure. Um, you know, being a woman in recovery is really hard because those character defects that I have still come out, um, being a perfectionist, not wanting to fail, um, you know, and also giving up on something if it doesn't go the way I hoped. And so far, I feel like my glasses are crooked. Do they look crooked to you? <laughs> um <laughs> but and the first video or two was like hard like it was hard because it was new you know editing and filming it and getting things right with lighting and all that kind of stuff it was really hard and the old me five years you know almost five years ago me raging alcoholic very very sick woman me would have gave up on that would have been like forget this too hard i don't want to do this i want to do this I want it to be easy. I want it to be instant. I want it to be whatever. And that's not who I am anymore. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for the life that I have now. So I just want to say thank you all so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Say, look at this really cool video I found. Spread the word. <laughs> but again, you guys, thanks so much for watching Mama T's Craft Closet. I appreciate you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.